Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, friends. Good morning. Well, <laughs> it's a bit late, yes, from my usual time. And I wouldn't be long this morning, but as you can see, those who are familiar with, you know, my early, earlier live videos, you recognize where I am. I am in the Queen Elizabeth II Park and just finished a very intense morning walk. So if you hear me breathing really hard, that's the reason why. <laughs> good morning, good morning. But you know, I could not. Um... Right, welcome back. Oh Lord, it's windy. You're used to that. It's windy. Um, the, <laughs> the 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 internet the connection it's all over the place so i really wish that you can hear me if you can hear me just do those thumbs up and i will know that you can hear me but as i was saying i really wanted to encourage somebody this morning before i left this park um just to let you know that second timothy 1 verse 7 says for god hath not given you a spirit of fear but of power of love and of a sound mind and the reason why it's important for you to know that is because the devil is a liar he loves to come with his uh, cunning tricks his cunning ways of driving fear into the heart of God's people and he does it in such subtle ways at times you don't even realize that's that's what he's doing until you're faced with a situation and you 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 grab it that way why am i fearful why am i afraid right why am i thinking that uh, i can't make it or i i can't do this or i'm not good enough and he comes with his lies right can you all hear me it's it's really really windy <laughs> and i'm getting closer to the ocean so i really hope you can hear me can you hear me if you can hear please give me those thumbs up just so that i can know if you can hear right okay great <laughs> all right yes i'm right by the ocean now as you can see so it gets even more intense on this side but just to let you know you know god has not given you a spirit of fear do not let the devil intimidate you there are some things that the lord needs you to do for him and if you're fearful you're not going to be able to accomplish it so do not let the devil intimidate you all right do not let him come to you with any foolishness and tell you that you can't because what i find out sometimes it's the people and the voices around us at times that tells us that we can't or it's not going to work out for you or you better not try that because you're just wasting your time right but the lord wants you to know that he has not given you the spirit of fear but power love and a sound mind okay he has given you the power to love love others love those around you love those who even hurt you all right he has given you that spirit of love love i'm telling you love covers a multitude of sins all right sometimes it seems difficult to do that but with god's help you can i sometimes when i talk about love and forgiveness oh look at that chicken look at that chicken i hope my friend kelly is watching even if she watches later oh kelly loves the chickens all right to god be the glory <laughs> yeah but sometimes when persons hear me talk about love and forgiveness and so on uh some maybe believe that i'm suggesting that these are easy things to do but once you have the spirit of god living in you all things are possible all right all things are possible uh, right um yes i notice all that's going on in the park now let me just get out of the way as people try to pass yeah but uh, yeah let me just stop here for a bit right so I was saying that you know the Lord he gives us the power to love even in 
difficult circumstances even when things are not on the up and up as we say um, in the Caribbean at times you know sometimes um, we believe it takes a special grace especially you know to love those who have hurt us and for some reason the Lord has me focusing on that because I realize that that's where a lot of people are tied up and bound up it's when they are locked in it's when they are locked in to that that hurt more than they are locked into the ability, you know, for God to love others through them. And I'm saying this morning, don't don't close yourself in. For those who have been been hurt, don't build a wall so high or so thick that you end up what should I say, barricading yourself behind it. You end up isolating yourself when you're trying to lock the world out. Like you would hear some people say, I don't have friends, I don't have friends, I don't trust people, you know, I don't have friends. I hear it all the time where, you know, they say, I, I, I don't need any friends uh, uh, or God is my friend, I don't need anybody. And these people, it, it's not like anything is wrong with them, but they're speaking from a place of, of hurt. They're speaking from a place of, you know, I've, I'm, I'm done trusting people. I don't trust anybody. I really try to reach out to people. And it doesn't matter how many times I've reached out, I've always been, been hurt. And that is why some people just lock people out. You know, they say, no, I don't, I don't need you. I don't need anybody to, to call no friend. I don't need you. But today the Lord is saying, you know, release the pain, release the hurt, release those things that people have done that causes you to want to close in like that because that's exactly what the devil wants. He wants you to have yourself like in this prison, imprisoned by the, the, the pain, imprisoned by the hurt, imprisoned by the fact that you don't trust people, imprisoned by the fact that you cannot even socialize, you, you, you're afraid to be real, you're afraid to, you know, come out and be vulnerable. You, some people, you, well, you have some people, you, you can't and you can't just leave yourself open and be vulnerable you know in front of everybody because some people actually thrive on your pain when you're in pain and when you're down they're happy so don't mind some of them sometimes they say they come oh is everything all right some of them don't really care and we know that but what the lord is saying don't just get locked up and tied up in that kind of feeling where you shut everyone and everything out to the point where even when genuine relationships come into your life you cannot accept it because you just suspect you know everybody's suspect right now i you know i i i, I don't need to trust anybody everybody's a suspect <laughs> right now so you know that is just how some people feel and you know we, we those who do not go through these things shouldn't really judge those who do. But at the end of the day, you know, the Lord really wants to heal some broken hearts. He really wants to remove that spirit of fear. That fear that tells you that if you open yourself again, you're going to get hurt again. There, there are many people like that who have shut down, locked away and pushed away locked away and pushed away very good relationships because of the experiences that they have had so today you know the lord just wants me to remind you just to remind you that he has not given you the spirit of fear but of power love and a sound mind you have the ability to think clearly right you have the ability to choose wisely you have the ability to even discern you know what's going on around you but you don't shut yourself away from the rest of the world or from reality because of what happened to you in the past all right some more there are some people who have some very uh how should i put this uh, you have some very interesting projects that you want to do and the devil is telling you that you can't do it don't do it don't even try it. don't even go there because you're not going to make it the devil is a liar the devil is a liar if, if you're contemplating business if you're contemplating you know a chain oh, this connection is not uh, cooperating at all you know i guess it's really based on all the way 
that's in this area in the park but i was saying if you're contemplating even a change in car career and you know that it's the spirit of the lord that's leading you go for it go for it do not let the devil stop you do not let you know the dissenting voices stop you or tell you that no that's not for you that's not for you because that's how fear sometimes creeps up and sets us back all right that's how fear creeps up into our lives and sets us back it sets us back from those things that the lord is wanting us to pursue you know the lord he 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 desires of us to prosper right to prosper and be in good health and to have good success and so on but if the spirit of fear is present then we're not going to feel like we want to pursue anything at all so we talk about you know getting up out of that place of hurt that place of pain that has you uh, secluding yourself or you know barricading yourself like you're behind a prison wall and now we're saying you know do not let even the spirit of fear cripple you from moving forward in your life in those things that you know the lord has called you to all right do not let the devil come and tell you that you can't do this or you're not good enough or your it, it doesn't really matter what you try you will you will never amount to anything uh, there are some people who they speak these words these negative words over people's lives and today the lord is saying you know i have not given you a spirit of fear so what you need to do is you need to cancel those words that people speak over your life it could be a family member it, it doesn't really matter where the, the the negative words came from you just be in this habit of canceling negative words over your life you get up some people say well how do i know you know who is it listen just get up and cancel cancel it all speak what god says about your life say what god says all right i'm blessed i'm highly favored i am i am fearfully and wonderfully made you have some people who love to call people ugly right you you have some ugly hearted people who love to call others ugly because you know the person doesn't look like them or look how they think the person listen none of us have the power to create anybody all right there are people who are suffering from low self-esteem because of the wicked things that people have told them and some of it started from when they were young okay from when they were children and those things have followed them into adulthood to the point where they just don't have that level of self-esteem they don't have that level of i am good enough you know i can do this greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world i can do all things through christ and this is why it's important for you to know the word because when the devil comes with his words his lies you have to know the word to combat that you have to know what god has said about you and is not what others or the devil has said about you all right so just know today that the lord cares he knows he sees he sees that spirit of fear that wants to creep upon you to set your back. But in the name of Jesus, you will be released from that spirit of fear. You will be released from whatever it is that's holding you back from moving forward in your life. Sometimes it's not even so much that people are holding you back, but your own self. Okay, so the, the Bible tells us that we should renew our minds daily. And that is something that we have to practice. It, it just doesn't come like that. You have to practice. You have to practice renewing your mind. You have to practice speaking positive things. You have to practice speaking God's word and replace those negative thoughts and those negative words with what God is saying. All right. You, you have to do that because if you don't do that, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it far. You're not going to reach too far because you're always going to be thinking about, you know, what the devil is saying. No, no, no. Do not agree with the devil. I always say to people, I always say this to them. When you're speaking or when you're looking at your life and you're speaking about your life, right always agree with God you know that little question who has the final say Jehovah has the final say all right agree with God for your life do not agree with the devil speak the solution do not speak the problem anymore speak the solution if you believe that you know you feel when your your life is stuck 
you start with your declarations and you say what God says and then you get up and you go do what you need to do because what we do at times is we we're stuck on our knees praying 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 and interceding but then when we get up from our knees we don't do anything we just sit back and say okay Lord drip on me drip on me no it doesn't work like that when you get up from your knees you have to then say okay Lord I am ready now to move into whatever area whatever dimension you want me to move in and you just allow him to guide you but you have to move you have to move your feet you have to move your mouth. You, you have to move. You have to do something. You have to participate in your miracle. Participate in what God is doing. You're not helping him now. Don't get me wrong. You know, God needs no help like that. Because sometimes, you know, we come up with these phrases that we believe in the Bible. Like, God helps those who help themselves. No. It, that's not in the Bible. Right? He doesn't need any help to that extent. But when he says to you, look, I have called you to do this or to do that. You have to be the one to make the move towards that. You understand what I'm saying? So say, for example, whether it was prophesied over you or, you, you know, the Lord spoke it to your spirit that he wants you to be a pastor. What are you going to do? Just sit back and say, okay, I'll just wait, you know, for somebody to notice that calling on my life and then they will, you know, ordain me. No, you have to get up. You have to study. You have to study the word. You go to Bible school, whatever it is, whatever it takes, right, to get that in motion. You have to be the one to do that. So sometimes persons would say, you know, it was prophesied over my life years ago that I would be doing this or and they have done nothing towards that because of what again in some cases the spirit of fear because they don't see themselves as that person that God told them that they are right so they, they they cripple their own growth because of fear but today I'm 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 declaring it over your life that you will lose that spirit of fear and your life will be propelled into that area that the Lord has called you all right you will lose that spirit of fear you will lose that spirit of fear yes yes <laughs> yes fabio rise to the occasion that's right i love that all right good morning by the way good morning sister norma good morning nadine god bless you all for joining in today as i said right uh i know that i'm usually on earlier but came over to the park and you know this is just the time that I'm getting to do it. So that's it. That's the view from the Queen Elizabeth II Park. That's to give you a panoramic um, view right there. But I, I, I just could not uh, head back on, you know, to my work without saying to somebody today that the Lord wants to release you from the spirit of fear. He wants you to have that level of victory in your life. And it, it's, it's now. Now is the time. Now is the time now is the time all right good morning Suzette good morning good morning so this morning I'm, I'm gonna pray for somebody because now is the time for us to rise up and be all that God has called us to be and if fear is hanging over our heads we're not gonna move we're not gonna do anything towards what God is calling us to all right so I really want to pray for somebody today that they would rise up from that place that that place where the devil has them crippled that place where when you look around you really don't see any way out but the lord always makes a way all right y'all are familiar with that song when your back is against the wall you know when you think that it was over he made a way he made a way and the lord will continue to make a way for you all right I, I'm, I'm i'm telling you god will make a way for you regardless regardless of what anybody else has said the lord will make a way for you your situation will change it will change you don't have to worry about okay um how is it gonna listen just trust god follow his lead and go according to what he leads you to do because sometimes you're actually hearing the voice of God but because of fear you don't move all right and this is not just about your mind um, playing tricks on you 
sometimes you do hear God you do hear his voice and all you need sometimes is a confirmation and even what I'm saying no is a confirmation to some of you there is something that you need to do and you are waiting and saying mm, should I Lord mm, you know Lord I need a confirmation on this well I'm, I'm, I'm saying right now that once you're hearing me no once you're listening no this is your confirmation to get up and go and do what God has asked you to do remove the fear remove the doubt he will help you just put one foot in front of the other and keep on walking all right keep on walking so I'm gonna pray and just ask the Lord to help us father in the name of Jesus I come to you again this morning this beautiful day oh God that you have given unto us a day that we have never seen before in our lives but a day that you have ordained for us to walk in victory for us oh God to lose that spirit of fear that fear that that cripples us the fear that keeps us back the fear that keeps us locked into one position that fear that is so crippling that we cannot we cannot see the way forward so Lord right now I ask you to remove the scales from off some of the, the eyes of those who are listening so that they can see your plan clearly oh God the questions the many questions that they're asking and they're wondering how what what should I do next where should I go Lord let them see what it is that you're asking them to do and I pray oh God that spirit of fear will leave their life even right now even right now in the mighty name of Jesus the, your spirit of fear we cast you out in the name of Jesus your people oh God will rise up and will become and do everything everything oh God according to your word for their lives in this season so Lord, I thank you this morning that even today that this simple word will make a difference in somebody's life and they will rise up from the ashes, oh God, and they will step on out on faith and do that thing that they are trusting you for, that you have already given them the clearance. So Lord, I thank you today that your word is alive and it's working in the hearts of your people. Let those, oh God, who do not even know you as personal Lord and Savior come to trust you because you are the answer mighty God you are the answer the world is not getting any 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 nicer it's not getting better mighty God but you are the answer and in you we have hope so Lord I ask you to save those who do not know you draw them to you by your spirit before it's too late oh God and Lord I thank you for removing that spirit of fear that spirit of fear oh God and you have replaced it with that spirit of love power and a sound mind so we're thinking clearly oh God we, are, we, we can hear your voice clearly we can hear you speaking to us and we can hear your directions to our lives so Lord help us to continue trusting you help us to trust you even when we cannot trace you even when we do not understand why you're asking us to do this let us move ahead oh God in faith knowing that you know all things and you know the end from the beginning you are the alpha and the omega you are the beginning and the end so lord today i thank you that lives are being changed and transformed even now that we will go on out there oh god and do that which you have called us to do fear will no longer bound us we will no longer be bound by that spirit of fear which is from the adversary and we will move forward, O oh God, in power, in might, in love. And we'll move forward with a sound mind. So Lord, I thank you today for each and every one that's even watching now. And even those who will come on later. You know them, O oh God. You know them. You see them. You see their names. You know who they are. You know everything about their lives. Lord, those who are trusting you right now for a miracle, I pray, oh God, that you will come through for them. You will not bring them to shame. You will not bring them to shame, oh God. Their trust and confidence is in you. And in you, oh God, we all live and move and have our entire being. So I thank you today, Lord, for what you're doing in the lives of your people. Lord, help us to always be grateful and thankful for your mercy because you are good. So Lord, bless each person today. Bless them with a ridiculous blessing that they will have a testimony and they will come back and say to you, thank you, Lord. Thank you for the breakthrough. Thank you for the breakthrough. So I give you praise even now 
even now, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Good, good morning, Sister Nora. Good morning. Morning, Tracy. You know, God bless you today, friends. God bless you today. God bless you today, right? I always try to remind you that you are exactly who God says you are. Do not believe the lies of the enemy. He is lie. He, oh, him lie. Him lie bad. Don't believe him. Believe what God says. If God says you can make it, you will make it. There is no if, but, and maybe about it. All right? You are exactly who God says you are, not who man thinks you are. It's so important for you to know that. It's not like I really want to be re repeating myself, but it's, it's very important for you to know that. Because sometimes people put labels on us. They put labels on us. You know, these types of labels that I, I wouldn't even get into them. You know the labels that they put. But the Lord is saying that you are more than that. You are more than that. Somebody needs to get this this morning. That you are more than who they say you are. You're a mighty man of God. You're a powerful woman of God. All right? Walk in that. That's the label that you carry. Okay? You're a royal priesthood. You are a, 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 a holy nation. We are. Okay? That's who God says we are. We're not the names and the labels that others place on us. So you'll be blessed today. And if you know this has blessed you in any way, go on out and be a blessing to somebody else. Okay? Tell somebody today how special they are in the sight of God. Because I, I we're gonna we're gonna erase the lies that the enemy the lies that he is telling out there. And we're going to replace that with God's truth, the truth of God's word. So that's why it's important for us to know that word. All right. So God bless you today. I leave you now to, you know, go and get ready for work or some of you may already be on your way. But God bless you and just know that your situation will change. Okay, it will change. I'm really talking to somebody today. The Lord will not let me end this broadcast. I'm talking to somebody today that is wondering and trying to figure out if their situation will ever change because it seems to be going on for so long. And the answer is yes. Yes. The Lord said to tell you that yes, your situation is about to change. As a matter of fact, it's going to change so much that you will not even recognize yourself in that circumstance anymore. Because the Lord is going to turn it around. Alright. He has seen the tears. Yes. He has seen the tears. He has seen the times when you just feel like shutting away from any and everybody. And that's why I started talking about that spirit of fear. You want to just shut people out. Because of all that is going on. Or all that they have done. All that they have said. But the Lord is saying rise up out of that. Because he has already taken care of that situation. All you're doing now, you're just waiting on the manifestation. Do not give up. Okay? Do not give up. Do not give up. The Lord is going to, he's, he's going to do it. He's going to send people in your life that will help you and that you can trust. Of course, your trust and confidence is not in man. But he's going to send genuine people. Some of you have been betrayed. You know what betrayal feels like. And the Lord is going to send people into your life that's going to change your outlook on relationships. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is for somebody who is feeling like that. Okay? He's going to send people, genuine people, because trust me, there are still genuine people out there. So don't write everybody off. Don't, don't keep that wall up. Because of what? Some of you, you, you help. You help everybody. You help everybody right and if you if you're not careful they turn around and bite you i know what that feels like but guess what i don't let those things keep me down you keep on that's what god has called you to do he has called you to to help and to love and to take care of people keep on doing it don't let the devil discourage you or tell you oh no, that don't make no sense don't bother you don't say they don't like you you keep on doing what god tells you to do because that's where your blessing lies that's exactly where your blessing lies all right that's where your blessing lies. The enemy is trying to keep you back from your blessing. Don't listen to him. Run him. Tell the devil, scatter in the name of Jesus. Don't let him discourage you or, or tell you, oh, don't help nobody again. Don't help them. They're ungrateful. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. 
that's exactly where your your blessing is all right so you keep on giving keep on giving you give selflessly you don't give because they give back to you or they have something to give you keep on giving because that is exactly where your blessing lies should i say it again yes keep on doing what god told you to do because that's where your blessing lies all right so god bless you today know that you are loved the lord cares about your situation and he sees every single thing that's happening in your life now don't think anything is going unnoticed by him Uh, -uh. he's seen it all everything what they say what they do what they're doing mm -mm. don't believe for a moment that god does not care all right he has not forgotten you had to really uh, plug that in to a friend last night you know just letting her know that god has not forgotten her right sometimes with the devil pushes us into a corner and we feel as if god is not there he's there he's there he's there he's beholding it all and at the appointed time your situation will change it will turn for the good all right so god bless you today god bless you today keep on loving keep on giving keep on blessing right your your reward may not be here on earth but we all know that those who endure to the end there's a sweet reward that's coming okay and it's not gonna be dollars and cents dollars and cents it's priceless dollars and cents can't buy that so you keep on obeying god and doing what he has called you to do okay do not get discouraged do not stop that thing that you're thinking about doing but you're planning to change your mind because you know you don't want to help anybody again because they, mm -mm, go ahead and do it God says do it and watch what I will do watch what I will do next with your life okay so you keep on being a blessing so I really have to go now. God bless you. I see you, Debs. I see you. I see you. God bless you. God bless you all. Thanks for joining in. Sorry I was late today. But, you know, some will catch the replay. <laughs> some will catch the replay. But God bless you. And I wish you, you know, every success in God. Especially those who are in business. I wish you every success in God. Your business will thrive. It will prosper. Your business will live again. All right, those who lost their business because of you know the storms and different circumstances and so on, your business will live, it will not die. The Lord will give you new strategies of how to go about it. He just told me to tell you that. Really have to go now. All right, God bless you. We'll talk again soon. Take care.